You never know what you're going to get, says Jim Fredericks, a Sullivan County, New York native who tends a V-shaped contraption made of rocks and boards called an eel weir, situated in the middle of the free-flowing Upper Delaware River. Eeling is one of the oldest forms of fishing, dating back to tribal days. But for Jim, the pursuit is a passion, a wild gamble shadowed by serious risk, uncertain harvests, and incredible physical demands, and he wouldn't have it any other way. Heron's Eye Communications was fortunate to spend a gorgeous late September afternoon with Jim, learning about the workings of his weir and a thing or two about eel fishing fashion. We donned the stretchy neoprene bibs, an important part of the process, and set out on the water. Although eelers have operated on the Upper Delaware River for centuries, today they must obtain one of a limited number of permits from the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation in order to continue the tradition. The V-shaped rock walls of a weir open upstream to trap eels as they migrate. Eels travel an impressive distance between the Upper Delaware River and the Sargasso Sea, a phenomenon representing a great exchange of energy and nutrients between freshwater and marine ecosystems. Although the American eel lives for up to 20 years in the Upper Delaware, its life begins and ends in the murky depths of the Atlantic Ocean. Eels are catadromous fish. They are born in salt water, then migrate to freshwater, where they spend their lives before returning to spawn in the sea. The open V-shape of the eel weir harnesses river water, forcing it through a wooden trap at the tip of the weir and eventually deposits the eels into a wooden box alongside the tip of the V. The stone walls of the weir are roughly 30 feet long, 5 feet wide, and 4 feet high. Jim has operated his weir near Pond Eddy, New York, for many years and must reestablish the walls and rebuild the wooden trap each spring and dismantle it each winter before ice accumulates. He welcomes volunteers willing to throw rock, as Jim calls it. Through it all, Jim has been stranded on the weir when the river rose rapidly as he worked, and he has removed all manner of accumulated river debris from the wooden trap. Still, Eeling is an art that Jim hopes to practice as long as he is able and to pass along to his son. There are currently less than 10 working eel weirs on the Upper Delaware, due perhaps to the intense physical labor involved and the unpredictable harvests. It's a gamble, says Jim, but the hard work is a welcome alternative to pumping iron. It keeps the beer belly off. Although the American eel lives for up to 20 years in the Upper Delaware, its life begins and ends in the murky depths of the Atlantic Ocean. Eels are catadromous fish. 